Was your Facebook account recently banned or are you having issues creating multiple Facebook ad accounts? If you're a marketing agency owner, an affiliate marketer or a dropshipper, you're probably asking yourself these questions and in this video we are going to discuss them in greater detail. Now there are a couple of reasons why you might need to have access to multiple Facebook ad accounts. The first reason is that Facebook is notorious for banning accounts and Facebook usually bans them for different types of reasons. Sometimes you went against their terms of service intentionally or non-intentionally and sometimes Facebook just simply does it randomly. And if you're a business that heavily relies on Facebook ads, this can severely affect the stability of your business. If you have multiple Facebook accounts, then you can simply switch to another account and continue your business operations. The second reason is that it can help you to increase the Facebook ad account limits. Not all accounts are made equally. Bigger accounts have higher expenditure and when you have a new account you might not have that expenditure. Furthermore, there are also hidden limits because Facebook wants to create an advertising platform that is equal for all advertisers. At some point your Facebook ads may stop working or providing the same conversion rate and creating a new account can help boost that again. So having multiple Facebook ad accounts can significantly scale your business. There are multiple ingredients that go into successfully managing and creating creating multiple Facebook ad accounts. And the first one is your IP address. Now your IP address is a unique identification number that is given to you by your internet service provider. And if you're creating accounts from the same IP address, then likely Facebook knows that and can simply block your multiple accounts because you're accessing these accounts from the same IP address. In order to do this successfully, you have to have a unique high quality IP address for each and one of your Facebook ad accounts. To achieve that, you can use proxies. However, not all proxies are treated equally by Facebook and we recommend that you use residential or mobile proxies because they usually yield better results and in the eyes of Facebook, they are perceived as coming from real users. You can find the full list of recommended proxy providers on our website, multilogin.com slash proxy. Now, mobile and residential proxies can be quite expensive. This is why on our YouTube channel, we actually provide you with a cheaper alternative where you can turn your mobile phone into a real proxy that can yield unique IP addresses for each and one of your accounts and also these IPs will be high quality. Definitely check that video out. Once you have proxies sorted, you should not forget to think about cookies. And no, I'm not talking about those chocolate chip cookies that you like, we're talking about browser cookies. The thing is, is that if you simply log out from your Facebook ad account and then you log in to the second Facebook account within the same browser, Facebook will still be able to identify this browser from cookies. And as you can see here, I logged out from my Facebook account, but Facebook still sees these cookies. And if I go ahead and log in with the second Facebook ad account, Facebook can easily detect that. To combat this, you have to clear these cookies out when switching between accounts. Or you can use a solution like multi-login where the cookies of your accounts are isolated in separate containers called browser profiles. Besides unique and good quality IP addresses or cookies, you should also not forget about browser fingerprints. Now, browser fingerprints are essentially identification parameters of your browser, of your machine, that can reveal a lot of information to Facebook, such as the name of your video card, screen resolution, and plenty of other identification parameters that can be used to uniquely track you. Multilogin is a software solution that provides browser profile that are perceived by websites as distinct and real users. Let me show you an example how you can create a browser profile with unique browser fingerprints, with a unique IP address and where cookies are isolated in separate containers. So this is how multi-login software looks like. And here you can go ahead and click create new to create a new browser profile. Here we can select a name, we'll call it profile four, and we will place it in a group, in the, our new group. Here we can set specific 
settings for our browser fingerprints. We recommend those settings that the application already provides. And you can also switch between different browsers such as Telfox, which is Firefox based and Mimic. Mimic is a Chrome based. For Facebook, we recommend using Mimic. The next setting you can do is you can click edit proxy settings. I'm going to use an existing proxy that I have purchased right here. Click edit this proxy, select HTTP and automatically paste it. I also can check this proxy. It's working. You're going to go back to the overview page. Everything is ready. And as you can see here, multi-login will adjust the browser fingerprint settings to correspond with the information of your proxy. We're going to click create profile. The profile is ready right here and we're going to launch it. The browser profile is now launched and this browser profile has a unique IP address from my proxy. It also has distinct and real browser fingerprints. And when we are going to close this browser profile, the cookies of this browser profile will be isolated from other browser profiles. So do you think now you are ready to go ahead and create multiple Facebook ad accounts? Well, pretty much, yes, you can. However, there is a couple of things that you need to consider and that is warm-up practices. Generally, there are two ways how you can get access to additional Facebook ad accounts. The first way is that you create new accounts and the second way is that you use existing accounts of your family and friends. If you decide to go the route of creating new accounts, you do have to consider that you will need to use unique and distinct details such as distinct emails, distinct payment details and so on. Another thing you should consider is that you most certainly must not go ahead and run ads straight away after registration. You have to take time to warm up the Facebook account before doing those things. The warm up strategies change from time to time. We recommend that you go to our YouTube channel and check our expert opinion section where experts from different industries suggest and advise how you can properly warm up your Facebook ad accounts before you go ahead and run ads. The second way to get access to multiple Facebook ad accounts is to use accounts of your family and friends. The thing is that these accounts are already aged, they are seasoned, they had a lot of good behavioral data in them and you don't need to go into the same lengths of warming up the account. They already have a high enough trust score to kick off your activities. By the way, if you do find a couple of family and friends who can share your Facebook ad accounts, you can export their cookies from your browser using an extension and then import these accounts using multi-login cookie import functionality. Now there is final thing that you should consider in order to successfully manage your Facebook ad accounts and that is cookie farming. The thing about cookie farming is that Facebook to a certain extent can track your browser history even if you don't have an account with Facebook. Facebook knows the majority of websites that you have visited even if you don't have an account. This is due to their widespread of Facebook pixel which covers around 11% of all websites. In the end Facebook will trust you more if your browser profiles contain this cookie history before logging in or creating an account. So we advise you that you farm for this history. You can also use multi-login to farm cookies. To do that, you can use cookie robot functionality. Right over here, I have a list of websites where Facebook Pixel is installed and you can find these websites by Googling or you can find a list of these websites that provide these lists of websites in the description of this video. So I'm going to copy these websites. I'm going to select the browser profile which I would like to farm. I would like to farm profile one. I will click run cookie robot, copy paste the list of profiles and click run. Now cookie robot will access these websites, crawl them and collect these cookies that are necessary for your future operations. After the cookie farming is finished, the browser profile will be closed and in around one to three days, I will be ready to log in into a new Facebook ad account or go ahead and create a new one. And now you're properly ready to go and manage or create Facebook ad accounts to scale or stabilize your business. Thanks very much for watching. If you're interested in this type of content, don't forget to click this subscribe button to get notified and do make sure that you're subscribed to our Twitter and Telegram channels where we post information and latest trends on how to run multiple accounts successfully. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.